Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Samarth here with us who got placed at Ali Lili through his campus placements at VIT. He is here to share his interview experience with us. Now before we go ahead and talk to him, let's look at the eligibility criteria. So students from all BTEC branches with a 60% or a 6 CGPA in 10th and 12th and a 60% or a 6 CGPA in the pursuing degree with no standing arrears were eligible. A total of 900 people had applied and around 16 people were selected for this particular opportunity. Now let's go ahead and talk to Samarth. Hi Samarth, uh, welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. Uh, hello, Mr. Thanks, thanks a lot. Um, yeah, so could you introduce yourself first? Yeah, so I am Samarth Sina. Uh, uh, BTEC final year student pursuing my BTEC career from uh, Velour Institute of Technology, Chennai. And I aspire to be a software engineer from India who love to work, solve the real world problems. Okay, that's great. Um, you can now tell us about the placement process and what were there, what were, what happened, how many rounds were there, and what they comprised of. Uh, so, uh, I have been recently placed in uh, a medicinal company named LI Lili. Uh, it's an 140 years old company, uh, basically comes under Rand hmm. So like uh, first I got shortlisted for uh, exams, so I gave exam, uh, basically a student coding question. Okay. So after one week of interval, uh, I got selected for the interview. Okay. So in interview like we have uh, two rounds, first, first one was technical round. Hmm. So starting with the first round, uh, like uh, the uh, interviewer came and asked me to introduce about myself, so hmm. I introduced myself. And then he go on to uh, ask uh, some basic uh, SQL queries, basically uh, from SQL joins and normalizations. Okay. And where clause group by clause. Hmm. Then uh, I explain all the answer. Then he go to the DSA and ask me what uh, data structure you know. So I answered stack and queue. So hmm. he told me to uh, give one difference between the stack and queue. Hmm. Then he come to searching and sorting. Hmm. And there he uh, asked me time complexity was uh, for binary search and in search and sort. Hmm. And, and and one last question was he asked me about hash map, like what is the difference between unordered set and ordered set. Okay. So this was all about my round one. Hmm. So uh, uh, so after a few hours, uh, I was again uh, called for a round two. Hmm. So like uh, she was a lady interviewer, so she came and asked me about my basic academic hmm. projects. Okay. So like I have done two academic projects and hmm. the rest I have done in my free time. Hmm. So like he go into depth about uh, my React JS project and hmm. blockchain project that okay. I had during uh, lockdown. Okay. And few uh, managerial questions like uh, how, what experience do you have and why do you want hmm. to join my company hmm. and hmm. for what position hmm. and why should you feel that you are better for our company. Hmm. And like one interesting question was like, there are many positions in Google and Microsoft also. So why do you choose my company? Hmm. So that kind of question uh, she had. Okay. And, uh, uh, and at last he asked me any uh, further query. So I asked him like, uh, what all are the technology you are working on? Hmm. 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 So after a few days, like uh, I got email that I am selected for an idea. Okay. Okay, that's great. Congrats again and thanks for sharing your experience. Uh, do you have any suggestions for people who want to get into good companies? Yeah, like I would like to uh, suggest that uh, please have a uh, focus on basically SQL and Java, especially object oriented programming. Hmm. OS, OS you can see from the archive uh, archive question from B2B. But right. if you have Java and Python hmm. and SQL, hmm. uh, you would easily get into an interview. And hmm. whatever you are writing in your resume, be sure like you know about it. Hmm. Hmm. Like there are many times they have thought like you have written React JS as X, but you are not knowing anything. Right. So whatever you are writing and whatever you have done your major projects, please write in your resume because if your interview is not going good, there might be a chance that your resume will get into the company. Right. So this, this is all my suggestion. Okay. Uh, thanks again for sharing your experience and for the suggestions. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.